turn it, turn it just a little bit so you can kind of see. Oh it. yeah. Okay. okay there we go. Okay. Got the motor in now. All right. Is it? It's, it's on now, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Mike's actually finishing up putting a, a bracket on the other side of the power unit runway, which actually holds up the uh, a mechanical lock tie rod. But what they had just done, um, up in, the, in the, the left rear corner, you can see the power unit hanging on the left front column over there. You can put that either on the front or on the side. It really depends upon where you have room in your garage for it and what's easy uh, for you. Uh, in the future, uh, by mid-November, mid we'll also have the capability to put it in the right rear. So again, you're going to be able to determine where in the garage you have the right amount of space. Um, one of the things that's unique for us, uh, yeah, we actually have two hydraulic hoses coming off of the hydraulic cylinder. Uh, you've got a pressure side hose and you've got a relief side hose so that um, on the breather of the hydraulic cylinder, um, Essentially, these lifts, you know, if it sits there for a month, if it sits for a couple months, uh, essentially the cylinder inside will either sit down and you might not get a proper seating that, you might get some minor weepage past that. Well, what we did is we designed in from the breather hole, which is atmospheric pressure, so that once you put the pressure into the pressure side of the cylinder, if you get any minor weepage past it, all it's going to do is go past basically a return line back to the reservoir so you don't get any drippage down onto your car below. So again, it's basically a, an enclosed system, um, so you're not going to get a drippage downwards. Okay. What about the, uh, the power of the motor itself? Obviously this lift is heavy, we've talked about that. Uh, what's the power of this motor? Um, we basically have got a two horsepower motor. It's either 110 or 220. Um, again, it's right now the unit that we have here is just the, um, the 110 plug in the wall unit. And operates off of less than 15 amp uh, power system and you could if you wanted to get it to 220 you just have to order that ahead of time and in that case you're going to have to get some uh, either electrician to wire it for a 220 plug in the wall or hard wire um, but again they're both the same same cost out there just the difference is the 220 is going to run about twice as fast and just raise it a little bit faster but again for the amount of usage in a normal garage or as far as an auto enthusiast the 115 is just fine Okay, all right, well, let's save that video then.